Beautiful people, good evening to you. So beauties, I am watching the news. And uh, I said, you know, Jamaica really needs a serious consecration. We, we really need to get back to the basics of life, as the song would say. I don't know what is the cause of what is happening. I know it is the devil, but let me tell you something, people. I think we have allowed too many different things to be happening in our country. What a 73-year-old and a 74-year-old fighting over land is doing. They are blessed. I was going to say the word lucky, but I have to say blessed that they have passed a few years um, after the three scores and ten. They should be, at that age, they really should be saying, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus, daily. Because they're really on the countdown of when to exit earth. They're really on the countdown. We're all on the countdown. But they, they are, their section has been um, accelerating. They should, so till it reaches a point where a knife got involved and the 70-year-old husband is dead, and the 73-year-old, the 73-year-old woman is taken into custody. But, <laughs> you know, I don't, I can't even remember which scripture, but you can actually um, Google it where it is found. We brought nothing into this world and we will certainly take nothing out. We brought nothing into this world and we certainly will take nothing out. Let me repeat that. For those of you who always, let me not use the word, who, who feel that fighting over materialism or material things or houses, lands, cars, monies, people, whatnot, you took nothing into this world and you will take nothing out. Let me remind you, you will not escape life alive. Let me remind you, whether you're caught up in heaven or you're killed by a car through sickness or you pass via natural causes, you are going to die one day. We are all going to die one day. It is ridiculous and foolhardy. It is stupid. It is nonsensical to be fighting over material things when you're not going to enjoy it. So before you depart from it, you're not going to enjoy it. I guarantee you that. We serve a very just God. We serve a just God who doesn't like ugly he does not like that is beyond ugly it's hideous we serve a just god doesn't like things that are hideous i call it hideous it's beyond ugly so you're not going to enjoy it and you're going to die leaving it and whoever takes it up may enjoy it for a time you know and then it passes on and the cycle continues 73 74 year old a, that is it is disheartening these people should be encouraging younger folks of how to live a life where we can live beyond three scores and ten in a healthy way and to hear that you're called into custody for the death of your husband because more than likely there you had something to do with it it's a it's a shame it is a crying shame what is happening in our country it is a crying shame as to what is happening in our country. I'm on if it's a joke. Because, you know, I heard a pastor saying that from some people got that joke. It's like they're, they have become a different person. And, you know, when he said it, I thought about some people. And I said, you know, I said to somebody before hearing that man saying it, that pastor saying it, that from peep, some people I know took that particular joke. They are, took, it's like their personality, not character, has changed. They're different, and it's not difference for the better. Like a coldness has taken them over. I'm telling you. Sometimes when I come on here, you might think it's, I'm just trying to talk gibberish or foolishness. No. It is something that I've witnessed, and I was saying it with somebody. I said, I, you know, I wonder if it's my mind until I heard the pastor said, he has been counseling some people who, have, who has actually, who have actually shared similar sen um, sentiments. And from the people have taken that joke, they are totally different. Like it has altered their personality. I mean, I don't even know what to think. 
I don't know what to think because it's this is the second time hearing about people in their 70s. I remember that where the man killed his um, 70 odd year old. He was either close to 80 or in his 80s, killed his, his wife in his 70s. And they're like, what the heck is happening? What is really going on in our country? It needs a serious consecration in this country. We needed mind, body, soul, spirit. And when I say spirit, I'm talking attitude. Well, some of the spirits that are in people because of the things that they practice, the necromancy, the obia, the witchcraft, the sexual abnormality, not just perversions, abnormality, something that is not in the normal. The envy and jealousy, let me tell you. I said to people, you know, I was saying to somebody that, you know, they, they often say sin is sin, you know, because they talk about once you break one, you break all. But there are some sins that carry more weight than other. I don't care what anybody wants to tell me. It, and even using the laws of the land. If, for example, you commit fornication or adultery, depending on the case, you won't be locked up for that charge unless somebody's maybe hurt or damaged. But if you kill, you not only do, did something immoral but illegal. If you steal, you not only did something that is immoral but illegal. While some may not, they may only just be moral but not illegal. So some will carry more weight than some. Look at the six things, seven things that God detests. Some things carry more weight than some. And I've often said it, sexual abnormality, you know, sexual perversion to its highest. Envy and jealousy, shedding innocent blood and bestiality. Because I cannot believe in this day and age. I used to hear it sparingly or sparsingly when I was younger. And you know that people still practice these demonic, diabolical, mad, I don't even know how else to describe it, practices. The country is under a particular spell. It is under a spell. It is, it is almost it's like it's under a curse or something. Because of the madness and the mayhem. And you know what, what has happened? Not only that, a portal has been opened up and the enemy has just let loose and he's just having a party. It is that people who know better are afraid. I'm going to encourage people to read a book called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Please, that is one of the best books you can ever read. I'm reading four books simultaneously, if you can, if it were as it were, I'm saying literally right now. Um, four different types of books, you know, but that particular one I'm reading now, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Please, please, please read it. Your life will be completely different and you will understand why some people post what they do to caution people, to ask people to open their eyes and to see what's happening and what's going on. Because it really is beyond a travesty of justice to see 70 odd year olds at loggerheads having disputes over material material things at that age when they should be looking to say god thank you i'm on my way out i'm on my way down the hill you know it may be slow it may be fast so let me give you thanks because many people have not even reached will not reach my age so i really should be saying hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus and instead, you're fighting over material things. When they're young and soft and foolish and nothing too tough. Do them the madness there. You really should. But may I say, you know, we all are humans and we all can make our mistakes and go through the, the pangs and the pains and the different stages of life. And we're allowed to. But now, you said they reach certain age. Mm -mm. No, no. And if you feel to come knock on the door, you say, look here, me not open the door to you. Stay outside, turn outside. It's a crying shame. Crying shame. 74 year old man lost his life, possibly to that 73 year old wife. Possibly. Knife involved. What you saying to me? What you saying to me? What you saying to me? The lady could be my grandmother. That's a. Wow. I don't even know. Wow. I, 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 beautiful people, I'm encouraging you to go and read that book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. It is very much literal as it, as it is very much figurative.
please please read it guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel please share this message